Hello and welcome to What Are You Saying? Hashtag Ways, where we talk about topics in the news as it affects us all. I am Osayua Mestali, and today I have the lovely Akanima Ojo Hi, and Utsi Eli looking very, very. <laughs> Hi, la. Non colorful Hi. today. I'm telling you, but you're looking so pretty. I love the Hi. color combination. Nude looks good on you. Thank you. I'd like to, you know, everything looks good on Enjoy. me, but that just sounds wrong. Enjoy. <laughs> Enjoy your being thank self. you, thank you, thank you. Oh, how have you been though? How's, how's the week been for you guys? <sighs> Let me start with um, AK. So stressful. Wow. My week has been so stressful. In fact, I feel like falling asleep. I feel that I feel like the whole world should stop and just wait for me to sleep. Maybe go on vacation and then come back. Then the world continues. And then the world continues. <laughs> I wish it was it was that easy. I can totally relate. Okay. So Monday was fine. And then the rest of the week, I was just in the funk. Like, I literally couldn't get out of bed. My, uh, should I go to work today? No. And then I'm working throughout on my bed. And then this morning, I deliberately set meetings for today. So I would go into the office. Mm. But this week has just been, it's been a funny odd week. It's a week of reflection, a week of plenty ah. thoughts. And I, I actually acknowledge this week that I'm tired, I'm burnt out. So I totally agree with you. Like, I need the world to stop or, or I need to stop. I think that's what it is. We constantly push ourselves to yeah. be on the go, stop, on the go, on the go. We're stopping. It's not easy. Stop. You know, I know it's not easy, but <laughs> I know, we, we kind of just is, have to yes. take a minute so thought, to breathe. Um, the whole idea for the COVID-19 break was to actually make us just, you know. No, ooh, it depends on where you're working and what you're doing. <laughs> because for some people, I think that just discovering the fact that you can work from home had removed all boundaries. Mm. So you're working constantly all the time. Mm. And meanwhile, I do appreciate the fact that the time that you spend in traffic, you save that time. By that time you're saving, you're working. So, it it actually, working. so you just wake up from your bed straight to where your, wherever your computer is and you're working and you, you probably do something after Absolutely. dinner, you still come back. So you, you're living with work. Mm. Mm. Well, what I was saying was that at least it gave us some form of break. No. Yeah. It was not all the companies that started working all the, uh, immediately. So, and I, I appreciate yeah. that it's different for different people. So even yeah. within my company, some people, yeah. but I've been working around the clock. I mean, when you work in the customer space, it never shuts down. Yeah. So I've been working around the clock and I think it's now actually starting to like physically, like Keep I'm tired, me. I need a break. Yeah. And all I that. actually lost my sleep completely mm. at like 1 a.m. Mm. this morning. Why? So, I don't know. I, I just. I mean, Are you thinking thoughts. of me? <laughs> I just have too many things, you know. I've been going for several meetings back to back this okay. week, you know. So I think I just shut down. So one a.m. like this, the sleep just disappeared. I said, okay, let me quickly use the time because now I've uploaded more courses for my MBA, so I'm doing multiple uh -huh. courses. I suppose just doing one course. So I said, okay, let me use the time to read, and it was quite. At least I read till about 4.30 a.m. So I now mm. went, I just forced myself to go back to sleep so that I don't look, you know, tired. You know what I feel like telling Nuwa? <laughs> Can I give you something to read for me? I just, <laughs> just summarize it and brain. send it, to, send me. it to you. <laughs> right well, all right. So today we're discussing ease of doing business in Nigeria. And here's what we found as today's quote. I believe starting any business should be as easy as a 10-year-old starting a lemonade stand. That's from Mark Cuban. What do you think? I think the operative word there is should be. Mm. That's the operative word for me, should be. But is it? Is it, yeah. I, I, I don't think it is. Mm -hmm. you know, so. a very diplomatic answer. <laughs> not in Nigeria. <laughs> not in Nigeria. Mm. Well, not just in Nigeria, in other places too. So I know that some people, um, for some people it's easier than others. Mm. But I, I also don't think it's as easy as, you know, just opening a lemonade, lemonade. stand well, in some places. So, 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 I mean, I, I know I joke about saying not in Nigeria. I think that um, we are, we're e it's easier in the sense of starting a business without any structure. Mm. Exactly. Where the challenge comes in is when you start to want to put structure into it and you want to formalize things. Exactly. But if it's just, ah, uh, you want I, to, I want to sell something. I think we're can, great at it in this country. We're great. We're great. Um, it's when it comes to structure that we have um, issues. Issues. Yeah. All right. So the, put. <laughs> the ease of doing business ranking, which the World Bank compiles every year, is often quoted and popular amongst investors. It's become a shorthand for judging um, how friendly a country is to do business with. It's mm -hmm. also a sports competition amongst countries. Now, Nigeria, the largest economy in Africa, has often lagged behind smaller countries 
um, and, and smaller African economies like Rwanda. Why is this so? Ayokunu Ojeni is here to discuss this, but first, let's take a break for what's in the news.